Oh no, oh no. No, oh, no. God! What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Slick. I'm not muted. Perfect. Uh, sometimes I, I, be, I do be muted. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the MI-28. This is the Havoc. As some people know, it's a new helicopter this patch for Russia. And everybody's kind of been over the KA-50 wave, ballpark, bandwagon type of thing. And uh, I feel like a lot of people miss this thing, which is actually extremely effective as a helicopter. That being said, I've noticed something, and I want you guys to let me know if you've noticed this as well in the comment section down below. But helicopter ATGMs this patch don't do anything. Like, literally anything. I've hit every single type of tank at top tier in the side with every single type of ATGM. Hellfire, PLAR, Attacka, the whatever the vikir or whatever however you pronounce it and it seems like it takes on average three to four missiles per tank which is just oh my god i don't know if they stealth nerfed it <clears throat> because of all of the complaints or whatnot but that's what it feels like and it's kind of disheartening i'm not gonna lie like there are issues with spawning a helicopter and i understand why people feel like it's a little overpowered but at the same time if you're gonna have a helicopter in the game it needs to be effective i mean these are expensive vehicles that people grind a lot to get and they're just ineffective that being said we're going to take this thing out we'll try to do well with it and uh whenever we die we're going to pull out the tadu with some he memes and i think that'll be fun so make a fun video overall so let's do this i had a little bit of an issue with my recording last time i was recording and it was just a blank screen but we're not doing that anymore don't you remember when the MI-28s invaded the jungle? I did too. So, while we're in the air, let's talk a little bit, even if I die this game. Let's talk a little bit about this chopper and advantages and disadvantages I've noticed to it. Not very maneuverable is a con of this chopper, but it is very fast in a straight line. You can see I'm already going 230 and I'm going uphill. It's really fast. Uh, I think it's because it's like Slender Man in the back. It's a really thin boy. Cool looking chopper, honestly. Another pro of this chopper is the ordnance. These rockets it gets. Uh, what are they called? Can I figure out what they're called? The S13DF rockets are absolutely insane. They one click everything. They have a really, really linear flight path. Uh, they travel fast. It, they're just the best of the best in terms of unguided rockets for choppers undoubtedly it gets thermal which is nice uh but it's kind of hard to hide you know it's it, it is a big chopper especially side on side profile and slowing it down is just a pain in the ass because it goes so fast so you know there are good things and bad things i think the ordinance for it is really good i love that it gets uh thermal and whatnot and I know people, you know, always, whenever you make a chopper video, people are going to be like, oh, I, I hate choppers, I hate this and that. I really think choppers are at a disadvantage right now. I, I feel like they're not killing the way they used to. I don't know if that's by design from Gaijin or whatnot, uh, but it, they're just not really doing too much. And on top of not doing too much, I feel like the... Uh, the premium hype with them has died down too. Everybody who bought the KA-50, nobody's really flying it anymore. I mean, we're top tier with Russia. I'm the only chopper in this game right now on our team. It's like, I don't know. The hype's kind of dying down because of the nerf. Who knows if they nerfed it or not? I feel like they did, though. Because I remember one-shotting things. The Hellfires are absolutely atrocious. I was using them Friday on a stream, and goddamn, they were bad. Let's see if I can stop this thing. Oh. Alright, what do we got? I'm going to scan for enemy choppers. I don't see anything. Pick up a little bit. Oh, I see one. That's really far away, though. Through a bunch of trees. Oh, there we go. We got an ADATS. I got him. Nice. That's a tough shot. 
I don't think it's possible to be effective in a helicopter. Uh, you know, all of the people who were bitching about choppers being overpowered and stuff, dude, it is so tough. <laughs> it's so tough to use these things effectively in a ground force match. It's just everybody wants to kill you. You're in the sky. If you don't die to an ADATS or something, there's going to be a tank that sees you on his thermal. He's going to smoke you. It's so tough. And I know somebody's going to be like, boo-hoo. But, I mean, it's a part of the fucking game. These things should be usable to some extent. Or have their own mode that's fun, not just helicopters versus helicopters. I think that uh, if they made some type of campaign with these, we could play with people against AI, maybe it'd be great. But as far as they are right now, their, their implementation severely lacking. Oh, we got an enemy chopper. Let's get down low. I don't know how far away that guy is. We gotta keep cruising around the side. All right, nice. All right. Why am I getting shot by where? <laughs> How is this guy alive? I slap him with another one. I'll slap him with another one. All right. I don't think he's coming back from that. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get to work on some of these tanks. Put my thermal up. I did the mean flank all the way around. It should be looking good for me. Potentially not, though. You never know. Ah, of course. I have a feeling I'm just going to get killed from behind. Somebody's going to spawn on a jet or something. I can't really get eyes on here. I'll duck down and go around. They don't really have many guys left, which could be another reason. Oh, there we go. No, he's dead. That guy's not.
Nice. We did get a tank. That's what I wanted. Finally figured out how to use the tank effectively, and I'm spawn camping from behind their spawn. Like, that's the only way you could use these things. What was that? What the hell? I feel too dirty doing that. I'm going to leave. Move around. Oh, shit. Chopper. Goodbye. We'll see you later, scout. Oh, we got to use our attackers this game, at least. Or our Iglas, I mean. It's like on a map like this, you know, you can't... You can't get them from the side. You gotta go completely side on, around. Oh, this is bad. Oh, yeah, he's pissed. We gotta drop low. Might be able to get him. I'm gonna have to launch it now. Got him. Alright. And that's the enemy team. Well, we made it work for one game at least. It was kind of scummy, dude. I feel really bad. I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments like, Oh, you piece of shit. But I mean... Like I said, it's so hard to make this thing work. I'll take what I can get. If I can get behind their spawn without getting killed by the enemy AA, an enemy chopper, or some type of missile system, I'm sure as hell going to take that. I, I see him hiding up there. I want to see if I can longbow his ass with a attacker he's 8,000 meters away I don't know how far away the attackers go Let me check six okay. there's two of them now I think yeah I think there's two of them now actually I'm gonna slide down I'm gonna stay low I'm going to go hit him with some anti-airs. There's two of them. There, oh, it's a friendly picking me up. I was going to say, there's no way somebody's picking me up. I don't believe it. One of them did get hit. There's an ADATS up as well. We're gonna stop right here, we got him. Gonna hit this guy quick. Before he notices me. Thank God he missed that. Come on. Thank God. Oh, I'm so hurt, though. Rocked me. Oh. Oh, we're going to have to limp her mo home. We got to limp it home. I lost an engine from that. Does it not have enough power? Oh, come on. Come on, Chopper. You got this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it home. Oh, man. Where's the base? Straight ahead. 
But we're losing a ton of lift. Maybe I could drive it back over. <laughs> we got to try to drive it back. I have too much. Here, hold on. Too much weight on us. I'll launch everything. And we're going to limp our way back. Uh, hopefully we can do that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's a forest in front of us. I mean, this is going to be something if we could do it. We are getting some some air. And it's all ground. We can we can swing around. We don't have to go over the forest uh, just in case. We can maintain a little bit of an altitude, which is good. Which engine's overheating? The left one. I don't want to get too high off the ground cuz if I got to auto rotate game over for me we're almost at the base oh no oh no so guys that was the mi 28 havoc uh, we're going to take a little bit of a look here at the ordinance that I can carry, my personal opinions on what you should carry, and just want to show you the hangar version of the helicopter because I know people do like information. If you're done watching the video and you don't need the information, I hope you have a wonderful day. So, uh, it gets a 30mm cannon. Obviously, I run ground targets just because AP seems to rip things apart. Now, the current setup that I've been running is the four Iglas, uh, eight Attackas, and ten of those S-13DF rockets. But with those rockets, you can actually carry 20 of them. So we just take a look at that. And uh, this isn't a bad setup either, honestly. If you like rushing and, you know, getting one to two kills before you die, inevitably, uh, this will be for you. You can actually shoot these, I would say, upwards of 1.5 clicks out, and you could be pretty effective with them. So if you take this into a, a test flight and practice though for a little bit, mm, you'll be deadly. Um, it can carry S8KOs. These are like the normal rockets, but they're not really that good. And I wouldn't worry about that. Um, this thing can also carry eight of the Iglas. So you could you could straight up Igla and play it in Heli A or Heli EC and uh, do pretty well for yourself. Also, you could carry four Iglas, eight Attackas, and uh, extra cannons. So I don't know, you know what what you're feeling maybe you don't like the rockets maybe you, you're worried more about planes coming in and attacking you or other helicopters but you can get four extra cannons so each of these gun pods has two in them uh and that's pretty pretty deadly itself too um and then that's that's basically it for all of the uh different types of ordinances that i would pick there's a bunch of different stuff and of course when you're grinding through the helicopter you'll only have access to this there and that uh, if we take a look at the armor, this thing does have a composite uh, ceramic tub, and it's about 30 millimeters thick uh, in most places, and then 44 millimeters of bulletproof glass on the front, and 22 on the sides. Each door panel has a little bit extra uh, space, and there is a divider between the pilot and the gunner for a little bit of extra armor. So this thing's pretty armored, pretty pretty cool little chopper here. Uh, it does have two engines. As you can see from the last match that I had, I, I did get one of the engines knocked out, and I had a trouble flying this thing because of how heavy it was with the ordnance. I think if that Swift didn't kill me, though, I would have been able to make it back. Certain maps where you have to cross water, I bet you'd be your ass would be in the seat the entire time. But that's basically the MI-28. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like. And uh, we should have another video out later on today as well as a stream, so be on the lookout for that. See you guys.